sleeping? No. Oh, that was right. No, you're not now. I'm not now either. I'm going to turn my phone away. I forgot the most important question of all okay. earlier. What's Are that? you an Eagles fan? Fuck yeah. Alright, yeah. we're done. <laughs> New York Giants. Oh, oh man. <laughs> well, you know what? Hey, at least you can make as much fun of me now as you want to. Uh, actually, as long as you didn't say Dallas, we're cool. Yeah, that is not uh, always. As long as you didn't say Dallas, we're cool. You can be cool. Eagles or Redskins. I, I, can't can't believe, dude, I can't believe we're number one. I can't believe we're Dude, you pulled Dallas' ass last week. Uh, uh, man, not like that, with no kicker. No kicker, man. Was it was it a Sunday night game? Yeah. Sunday we had no kicker, man. We had, we had to we had to go for touchdowns and two point conversions the rest of the game. What we happened had, to the kicker? We had man, he got hurt, man, for in the first half. So we had a linebacker doing kickoffs for us, man, for because man, for man, we couldn't we have anybody else to do kickoffs. So yeah, it was a hell of a game. I mean, you guys have got it this year. Oh, well, know. man, I guess I'm uh, not gonna be seeing my money from Roy anytime soon, man, for again. It'll be a little while, probably. Yeah. Man, I still don't. How much does he owe you? Oh, only 50 bucks. But the thing is... Hey, 50 man, bucks is 50 bucks. 50 bucks is 50 <laughs> bucks. And, man, for again, it's more, it's more a pride thing, man, than anything else, man. Just because, man, you know, he always likes to talk like he's the god of football or whatever. It's like... Oh, uh, is that what he owes you 50 bucks for? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it for that game? For that game. Oh, for yeah. real? Yeah, for oh, that nice. game. Yeah, so, I'm like, man, you go ahead and bet on Dallas. I was like, Philly. But, um, That's not his team, is it? He's no, no, okay, no. He's a he's a Patriots fan, which is almost worse. I was gonna say, oh, okay, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. But you guys, man, I don't know what the hell your problem is this year. Everything? Yeah. Well, I, number one is the coach. Yeah. I hate our coach. He's Mac, got, I was a yeah, fucking idiot. Yeah. Because, I mean, you guys, man, I mean, you just, you're in last place in man for game. I mean, nobody expected that. No, I was supposed to. I mean, quite honestly, it was supposed to be between us and Dallas. It was supposed to be. It yeah. was supposed to and be. And now both of our teams are. Yeah. You know, yeah. No, I mean, and I'm not a Beckham fan. I mean, he's got talent, but on every given play, right. he, he's either slacking or I've seen him drop balls that are easy. He'll make them, you know, that catch like he made against mm -hmm. Dallas that one game that made him famous. Right. And then you'll see one land right in his hand. And, and he just drops it, yeah. You yeah. can't do that. That's yeah. not the way it works. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, like I said, man, at least you're not a Dallas fan because, man, I can live with the Giants. Yeah. You know, one of my best friends in the world is a Redskins fan. So yeah, I can Redskins live with the Redskins. I can live with the Redskins. You know, I mean, we have the hardest division in football as it is anyway. You year know, in, the year so, out. Yeah, exactly. You know, the Eagles are the only ones, man, missing it right now. We want ours. <laughs> I thought you were going to get it back with uh, with McNabb. Oh, uh, I did too. Yeah. I thought I did too, man. I thought we had the Patriots in that game, but man, yeah. we're getting, nope. That wasn't you know, was That enough. was a coming out party for uh, what's his name, wasn't it? Um, Brady. Oh yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, I think I was mad. I think that was the first year he did really good. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, that's when he so. came in because uh, Bledsoe blew out his knee. Yeah, well, I remember he was a backup to Bledsoe. Yeah. You know, although if you want to go that way, man, Kurt Warner is the way to go. Man, talk about a Cinderella story. Oh, no you know. kidding. Yeah. Now you know where Bledsoe came from. He's from the mountain regions up in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, I was going to spend, spend some time up in there too, man. Freaking White Haven up in man. Used yeah. to be a Whitewater guy on the Lehigh. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he used to uh, do lift attendant, man, at Jack Frost and, you know, work, man, freaking during, you know, during the spring and the fall and the summer working uh, working as Whitewater guys. But then there's like Jack Frost, man, as a lift attendant. And, That's uh, pretty cool. Cheap skiing. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you say, have you ever heard of Round Top? Yeah. Yeah. Right, I used yeah. to ski there all the yeah. time, and then uh, it's Sister Mountain, Liberty. Nope. Nope. Used to go there. Yeah, but that ain't nothing compared to when you start going out west, man. No, you know, no. Uh, and even uh, like Vermont. Uh, Vermont. I mean, Vermont's I've like done Stowe, Stow, Killington. I've done man, Whiteface up in New York. Yeah. You know, Holiday uh, Mountain up in New York is yeah. really great. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but it still ain't nothing like man. Out west, man, freaking, you know, you just never get powder like that on these kids. You never will. Man, freaking, you know, that stuff, man, they just got beautiful powder, man, freaking. I mean, you know, like Alpha and Snowbird and, you know, Utah and Colorado and yeah. that place, man, Berkham Ridge. You know, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Kayaking, 
I was more of a man. I didn't like man big water as much. I like tight technical stuff. I like to like to golly and the freaking. See, that's where you know, my buddy took me there. Tried yeah. to teach me how to kayak and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I mean, they got some class spots and everything else. Oh, that's yeah. no joke. Oh yeah, <laughs> Upper Yak is a good one too. Upper Yak Game Tiger. I uh, man, I've done that river. Done the new. Yeah. Uh, game, yeah. I mean, I've done all those rivers. Nana Hill, but Nana Hill is not that great. No, Nana Hill is not that great, man. For game, it's kind of yeah, weak. Yeah, it's kind of weak. But man, the golly man's got some good stuff, man. For game, yeah. You got yeah. the upper and lower golly. Yeah. Upper is a real yeah. bad one. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, you can do, man. You can have some fun on the golly. Yeah. You know. But yeah, man. For game. And I haven't got much white water in a little while, man. I've actually been trying to get down, man, for can do some of the white water down some of the islands down that way. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, was it, I think the DR has it. I know Cuba does. For can and I think Jamaica has a couple of rivers too, you know. But man, if we can start you know, start going to some of the other islands that actually have rivers, you know, check Jamaica out. Jamaica has a nice one. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, I would love to get back to doing that. Cause man, uh, Key West is cool, but it's just it's flat. Yeah. yeah, man, flat water paddling sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. Now, yeah. do you ever go out to like the Outer Banks or anything like that and do uh, the wave? Oh, no, 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 no. I, man, don't get me wrong, I've taken, man, kayaks down to the ocean. Because I used to big in squirt boat, and I don't know if you okay. know, know what that is. It's kind of like freestyle kayaking. Okay. Right? Gotcha. So, man, for a can, uh, you know, like, man, like, pillow rock on the golly, right? Man, for yeah. can go up and splat the rock, yeah, man, for a can. I don't agree, you know, go vertical up I could not do that, but my yeah. buddy could do that all yeah. day long. Yeah, but uh, I was big into that stuff, and, man, for a can, you can, you can have fun, man, on the ocean. The only thing is, is you got to be, you got to be a little careful. Because, man, for a can, if you don't remember to carve sideways, but, man, for a can, eventually it's going to dig the nose in, and you're going to end up getting smashed. Yeah. It's not gonna feel good. Then I got smashed up against a boardwalk pile on one too. Yeah, freaking wave brought me in, man, freaking. I saw it coming, just threw the paddle and hugged it, man, bam, you know. That's what it is. Especially we big in the surfing on the Outer Banks. Yeah. And, uh, came in right before the one hurricane in Wilmington, North Carolina by Kay Fisher. Right. And a Fort Fisher. And uh, I dropped down and there was a stupid telephone pole in the water right after. Oh, that. yeah. And yeah, that'll get you. That'll get you. Yeah, man, if I can. The only time I've ever actually been on a surfboard, I actually took a couple of guys from Body Glove, man, who were sponsored by Body Glove. Yeah. Took them down the river. Because right. uh, they had never surfed, man, river waves, man. So, man, if I can, we took down like six boards, and, man, none of them made it back, man. They all came back in pieces. Oh, yeah. yeah. No way. <laughs> right. But they had a blast, man. They had a blast because, man, I mean, it is a never ending wave, you know. I mean, yep. you can get out there, man. You can yeah, because guys do the boogie boards on it all the time. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, we serve kayaks on them all the time. Yeah, it's just, man, for a game. Yep. It's a little bit different, man, because it, it doesn't go anywhere. It stays there the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You like that, you definitely like not so much. I mean, there's a couple places down here you can go to Jupiter, Samaria, Sebastian, and get some long ways. But yeah. you like kayaking, you like surfing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure I would. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit older these days, man. I mean, my body can't take kite to no, things it used that. to. So. I said yeah. I was going to get into kite surfing. I still haven't done that. I've been, I've been so looking at that. Every time I go to the beach, man, I'm like, I'm like that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, that, looks like some, that looks like something. Like I mean, that. they're getting 15 to 20 feet in. I know. Like they pull, when they pull up, it's like, yeah, that looks like fun. I, I think I can handle that, you know? Yeah. Um, it's long. I don't know. But, man, I'll get out there eventually, man, get on it. You know, for a game. I heard uh, that. It's, like, I heard it's hard to do without lessons, which I, don't, I watched me like, man, it's not bad. It doesn't look that like, hard. I think you can pick it up anyway. Yeah, yeah exactly. It doesn't look that hard. You know, it's no different than parasailing, really, other yep. than, man, you have a little more control, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. You know what they really need to try that with? What? Snowboards. Uh, kind of. It'd be interesting. I'm thinking you Because I used to snowboard, too, man, for a candy man. You know, snowboarding, the, the biggest downfall of snowboarding is, man, flat spots. Anytime you have a flat spot, man, it sucks. Yeah, you're Because you got to, man, to take off your binding and, man, for a can, you know, you normally end up walking with the board. You know, because man, it's kind of hard to freaking yeah, do with one, one foot, foot. Man, one foot one way, you know, and trying to go the other way. One foot waddle. Yeah, so man, freaking, you know, so I mean, it'd be kind of cool for that, but man, freaking, but I don't know, man, freaking having it pull me down the mountain. I don't know about that. You can go up the mountain though, easy on it. You, you could try going up. It might be kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, it might be alright. problem is, I always wanted to try out. They had these things called sled dogs. 
not like not like you know like like, like lab and sled dogs like yeah. um, they were like more like rollerblade skis. Okay. And man, freaking that way, man. When you hit the flat stretches, you can skate just like you can, man, with like skate. Uh, I gotcha. Man, you can go flying off the edge of the mountain, man, freaking <laughs> before you even hit the edge, man. You get get you know get some speed. Uh, I've never tried them, man, but they looked interesting. I definitely wouldn't mind it. But yeah, man, freaking. Uh, I used to love all that stuff, you know. Um, I still do. I mean, like kayaking. My son, man, he's doing good. He's man, he's finally learned his role. He's getting good. How old did you say he was? Know, 15, 15, right? Yeah. yeah. So man, he's finally you know, he's starting to get over the fear a little bit, you know. Yeah. So, so he's doing good with it. Man, I told him, man, freaking once he gets down here, man, we'll have to go down there and check out some of the rivers. Oh yeah. Uh, the only thing on these islands down here. You gonna take the boat out and do it, or how are you gonna get down? You gonna boat? Yeah. Take the boat down and do it. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Because man, for a game, you know, want to make a sailor out of him too. You know? <laughs> I think he'll like it, man. For a game, you know, he's been living out there in the desert, man, his whole life, man. For a game, yeah. so you know, I need to get him out on the ocean, get him out, you know, get him out on the water. I do like you know, especially like New Mexico and Arizona yeah. last two. Yeah, I like New Mexico more than I like Arizona. Same here. But Arizona, man, Arizona's okay. I mean, actually, probably the prettiest desert out there is Utah. You know, Utah, man, as a state, kind of funky. You know, they're they're definitely like their own country, but <laughs> but man, for game, but the deserts out there, like Bryce and all that, you know, and, and uh, Moab and all that stuff, yeah, man, they've got some beautiful spots out there. No, that's very you know? true. So I mean, it's kind of I don't know, just a little give a little take because it, it is kind of funky there too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's definitely it's definitely not like any place else. So like the Native American tribes in New Mexico, you yeah. know, yes, they're more than you do pretty much anywhere else, Arizona or... Arizona and New Mexico probably are the biggest. Yeah. 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 But, you know, but man, I'll tell you what, Albuquerque is one of the nastiest cities I've ever been in. Yeah, I haven't spent time there at all. Like oh, uh, man, freaking, I mean, downtown Albuquerque is not too bad, but man, when you start going on the outskirts out there, it was a, it's up by the, uh, it's the racetrack, is the casino or whatever they got out there. You get around that neighborhood, man. It's the only time I've ever seen a cop stationed at a McDonald's 24 <laughs> 7. Yeah, they literally had a station for the police, man, at the McDonald's. Like, man, that's pretty. Bad. I was like, man, I've been in some hardcore neighborhoods. I'm like, man, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> you know? You don't really see that shit too much. Yeah, no joke. Now, Charlotte, I have to say, we had the, she had several duty gigs at gas stations and and a couple of the fast food joints hanging out there. Yeah. That is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So what are we waiting on at this point? Um, I'm letting them finish up the house and then okay. I'm done. It okay. shouldn't take long at all. Yeah. Um, let me back to Friday night one more time just so I know I've got everything. Um. Let's see, Friday. Uh, so like I told you, man. Start, 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 actually, give me fair. Start Friday morning. Let me go from that. Friday morning? Yeah. And let me, uh, just uh, to make sure I do it, will you give me your full name and date of birth, please? Franklin Tyrone Tucker, August 12, 1971. You swear in front of everything you're about to tell me is true and accurate to Yes, sir. All right, perfect. All right. And then uh, Friday morning, let's see. Friday morning, man, freaking didn't do too much, man, freaking until started getting towards the afternoon. But we started drinking, man, for the afternoon. I know that. Right. Um, hey, you know what? Hold, on. Hold that thought for a minute, all right? I'm going to do one other thing. And, uh, I'm going to do your rights. Uh, okay. You're not under arrest, but. Okay. Just so I can. I'm saying I did a proper investigation. Okay. Give me one second, all right? I just got to put it off.
can't even see why I would do it. You know what I mean? He's got a pregnant wife. I've got a pregnant wife, and I know he goes to work, man. Hell, you know, so man, uh, I'm not sure what the hell, man. You know, unless it was personal, uh, man, whatever. I don't know. It just doesn't sound like him. Then again, I don't know. It doesn't sound right. But at this point, I resign myself to, man, I just want to go home and go to bed. I mean, for real, you know, I'll let you guys do your job. And man, for real, hopefully you'll find me and freaking find out he didn't do it. You know? Man. Yeah. Staying in town for Thanksgiving? Yep. I have no plans on going anywhere. Yeah, me too. Alright. Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can anything you say can be used against you in the court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask any we ask you any questions and to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you at no cost before any questions, if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will you will still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. We've also proven that I am not very good at reading upside down. <laughs> Keep signing and print next to it. Yeah. So who's your favorite Eagles player of all time? Reggie White, probably. Uh, I have his rookie card. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a Packer, he was an Eagle. <laughs> I would have to disagree. <laughs> Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham was a hell of an eagle, no doubt about it. He was definitely a hell of a quarterback. You know, and unfortunately, Buddy Ryan, man, used him the wrong way. Yeah. You know. And quick ended up getting his leg in front of him. Yeah. 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 Body fat was at three percent in his entire career. Three percent body fat. I didn't believe that. That guy was a hoss. Hey man, for as much of a prick as he ended up being, I love Terrell Owens. Man. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, he was a prick. I'm not he's, 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 he's a prick, man. But man, for good. But man, you know, he was a talented prick. Yeah, he's you know, a very talented. You know, he's a talented prick. Yep. No doubt no, no about it. All right, sorry, I got off topic. No, I like talking okay. about football. No, I hear you, man. Yeah. Tis the season. Yeah, exactly. Almost in the playoffs on now. But, uh, no, man, for a can I did, man, I was trying to think, man, when I was down you know, in the patrol car, I was sitting there trying to think, man, because you kept on telling me, man, for a can I, I took a walk with Roy that night. And I was like, I, I'm really, I'm like sitting there, because I, I remember... I know, but I, for some reason in my brain, every time I said take a water with Roy, man, I remember going to the Metro PCS with him, man, freaking. I know we did that during the daytime. Okay. But, man, freaking. But then, man, I had, man, like, man, I did have, like, man, freaking, kind of like, man, a vague memory of, man, walking through the neighborhood. And, man, yeah. and I had a vague memory, man, freaking, of, like, man, the CVS, uh, the, the drive through Oh, okay. The drive through yeah. cutting through the drive through or something like that, man, All freaking. Right. So I kind of, man, for can. Like Are you I going said, to CVS to get beer, maybe? No, 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 no. Uh, we didn't go in the store, man. Oh, for right. can. Like I said, we were just, just going that drive through. We were just going through, it, man, for a walk around the neighborhood or something like that, All man. For can, you because sometimes when he gets, man, him and April start going at it, man, they'll be like, man, hey, man, you want to go for a walk? And I'll smoke a cigarette. All right, cool. But man, for a But I don't really remember. Like I said, I was already lit by that point. So man, for a I you know, but I have a. It, it's like. I don't really remember most of the walk, but I remember going through the drive-through, man, for a couple of days. That drive-through that they have for yeah. the, 
but I can remember going through the drive-thru, and I just don't, I don't remember man, much else. I just, you know, but I do. See, so were you guys in a car or on foot going through? Like just that little walking through. Just there. walking through that. Yeah. We walked through there. I'm pretty. I, yeah. I, I, I pretty. Yeah. You know, I, I remember walking through there. And just you and Rory walking through there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was just us, man, for a can, you know, but man, for a can, I seem to remember walking through there, man. Like I said, I was like, I, like I said, I was lit, and uh, so my, you know, it may be sketchy, right. and it may not be that, and man, I'll, I'm trying to remember like it was that day, but man, for a it may not be that day either, you know what I'm saying? I just remember, man, for a can, I don't know, like I said, I have this vague memory of walking through, I did, it, the drive through is what sticks in my head, man. I got you. Can. So, man, for a anyway, but man, for a like I said, you know, I was already kind of lit, man, for a so man, for a Do me a favor, let's start a Friday morning, just take me through it. Okay, a Friday morning, man, for a if I remember right, it was no big deal. Um, except for man, for a we were trying to secure the house, man, for a because, man, like I told you, it got robbed. And then, man, we went out and got beer, man, started drinking, and then, man, for Travis brought some fireball. Next thing, man, for can drink fireball. And what kind do you think? So. Secure your stuff in the morning. Beer started early. I, I got to admit, man. It started, it started pretty early. Because um, these boys, man, freaking, I know, man, freaking, you know, when they, when they don't have to work, they, man, they start pretty early. Which boys are you talking about? Travis and... Roy? Travis and, man, no, Travis and uh, freaking uh, Big Scott. Okay. Because, man, we're, you know, really, man, Roy doesn't come up the stairs very much, man. He comes gotcha. up stairs every once in a while. You know, but man, for a can, but Big Scott, man, for a can, yeah, he likes to drink first thing in the morning. So, and Travis, Travis stuff, man, you know, I've been, you know, burglarized and vandalized and all that yeah. other stuff. So, I think that was part of it. What did Travis go to jail for? Um, he went for a while, well, a weed pipe. Uh, oh, that's right. You and, yeah, you yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, it was the stupidest thing ever, man, for a Like I said, I wasn't there when it happened. But yeah. Man, from what I heard, it was just, they, 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 they were just stupid, man. They were just being stupid. You know, because they came in for a, they had a warrant for two people who were staying there, right? This uh, chick, Martin, uh, it was Martin, and man, his his girlfriend, I think it was named Valerie, or I think it was, it was their name. Okay. But man, freaking, but they very rarely ever came out, you know, came out of the room or anything like that. So, man, which explains why I consider a man... You know, when when they went to jail, man, for she had like three outstanding warrants, and then he had one of them or something like that. But man, for again, so he came in for that. Yeah. But then they were man sitting around smoking some weed, and man, for again, you know, for again, Detroit and Dave decided to get stupid, man, for again, was start running his mouth. So man, they took him Detroit, uh, Rory, Detroit. No, Detroit, man, for again, it's in jail. Dave, Detroit. Dave, Detroit. You know. I don't know where, man, if we're going to get Detroit, man, for Rory, man, if we're going to, I mean, I think I've heard somebody call it to him once, man, over a fucking Burger King. My April told us, I guess that's what she calls it, it's Detroit. Oh, yeah, uh, maybe, that, that may be between them. Okay. You know, I mean, because, man, shit, like I said, man, April and I. Yeah, she, yeah, I, I picked up on the fact that she doesn't care for you very much. No, she, uh, she <laughs> does not like me, you know, she, she does not like me very much, you know, which is, it's okay, man, for not everybody has to like me. But man, it also makes me, that's why man, for that's one of the reasons, you know, Roy and I didn't get to be better friends, it's just because man, for again, you know, I, I can't hang around her. Right. You know, I just can't, man, for again, you know, she, uh, she definitely, man, for again, she gets loud and, you know, she has a temper and, you know, they've had the cops out there quite a few times, man, over domestics and stuff like that, man. I yeah. Just, I mean, I, just, I don't have any patience for it. I just don't, you know. I just, you know, I, you know, I like my life nice and simple and easy. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. like man freaking complications, and I don't like negativity, and I don't like, you know, I definitely don't like uh, arguing, and, you know, that kind of stuff, man. So, I got you. you know, I mean, I tell there was one night, man. They had the cops come out there three times in one night. And I was like, man, Jesus Christ. And this is when I was standing right after the storm. All right. So, man, freaking, I was staying with him up until then. And that's when I decided to leave. This is where I think it was the very next day I decided to leave. I was like, man, I can't do it. That's bad for me. I appreciate it. Thank you. But, man, right. freaking, but I'm going back to cops. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, but, yeah, yeah, she don't like me very much. But, but she's also, what, man, he tells me, man, she's like, 
she's a bipolar, and man, she got some other thing, man. Freaking, she's on medication for it. Man, well, that's pretty serious. Yeah. Well, and then man, she's nine months pregnant to boot, man. So man, I'm yeah. sure that don't make it any easier. I don't know. But uh, true that. I know when she starts going off, man, the whole damn neighborhood hears it. How long did you say you've been staying at the warehouse? Um, well, it's been off and on, you know, because, like, I stayed there during the storm, right? You I, wrote it out there? Yeah, I wrote did it out. Really? I wrote it out, man, for in, in, in Roy's house, right? For a game. Now, you guys that other room there? And, man, I... Oh, on the bottom? Or did you guys go to the on, top? No, on the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah, because, man, for that building, man, for is actually pretty solid, you know what I mean? It's the only thing I was worried about, which was, was the roof. roof. You know, so about but that's when uh, CJ and Michelle were living there, and they had the, the room that I'm staying in now. And then, uh, but some of their stuff is still in there. So when you guys do your search, just understand, man, we're getting some of that stuff still belongs to them. Okay. You know, um, but man, we're getting, you know, again, like I said, most of my shit's man, we're getting in one bag, man, we're getting. Other than the laptop, I was sitting there watching, man, when you all came in. <laughs> but now, yeah, whatever. But uh, most of my shit's like right there. Um, but anyway, so CJ and Michelle were there. Um, they rode the storm out there. Um, who else rode the storm out? Oh, Detroit Dave rode the storm out there. And I want to say somebody else was there. Oh. Did Rory and his girl? Huh? Yeah, Rory, they, yeah, they both rode the storm out too. Yeah, they rode the storm out. Gotcha. And then. Uh, now, but I was working right up until man, freaking right up until the wind started blowing, because I was putting up uh, storm shutters and all that other stuff. And then man, hell, I was working again like two days after man, after man, it stopped blowing. Yeah. Man, you know, there, man, people needed tarps up on the roofs and man, freaking demo. I mean, I mean, every cleanup started immediately. Yeah. You know, although some of it, man, I mean, it's pretty harsh, man. Up there in Big Pine, it's pretty harsh. You know, freaking. Uh, there's this one little old lady, man, she was trapped up on the second floor. And, man, we brought her food and water and stuff like that. Because, man, you know, she, the, the storm surge had wiped out the bottom and, man, piled up a bunch of shit up against her door. But then the t she had, like, a balcony door that went down. But, man, that had gotten blown off and part of the roof had been blown off. This lady, little lady's, like, 80 years old or something up there by herself. And I'm like, man, I'm like, that's crazy. She must have been scared out of her, you know, out of her mind. So anyway, man, freaking, we cleared the path, man, freaking got, man, got, you know, got some food and water up to her, man, yep. got her supplies, but she wouldn't come down, she was scared shit to come down. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Big Pine was a trip. There was one man yard, we found an airplane cockpit in somebody's backyard. In Big Pine? In Big Pine. Like, man, where the hell did that come from? I mean, you know, I think the closest air put no, yeah, was, I think there's a small one in Sugarloaf. Yeah, I was going to say, you got a small one right up from there that's yeah. like a little homemade one. All right, there. I think there's a small one in Sugarloaf, and then they got one in Marathon, but man, yeah. we're going to blow all the way to Big Pine. I mean, that's... Yeah, like, that's pretty good. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. But yeah, you know, it just, I don't know, it reminded me of Andrew. You know, for King, because I was here, man, for for Andrew, too. I was up in Miami for Andrew. And, uh, man, freaking, you know, you know, Key West got, man, got a little bit of damage. Got, you know, you know, Stock Island took a little bit of damage. But some of those other, uh, Big Pine, man, Big I mean, Pine got, it's got, it got leveled, man. I mean, there's neighborhoods that are just gone. Yeah. You know, just totally gone. And, man, it was just sad seeing the people come back and, you know, they did nothing out they got nothing. Which I know the feeling. I've had it happen. So, man, I know the feeling. Yeah. But it still sucks to see it happen to somebody else too. So man, we're kind of, oh yeah, is what it is. But no hopefully, man, hopefully the old man get there. You know, either get the insurance or they'll get FEMA to help him out or something. Yeah, or a combination you know. of the two. Yeah, yeah, but uh, let's see. I know I've been out here mixed stories about man FEMA. Yeah, same here. Uh, well, I've been dealing with them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I dealt with them, too, when I was up there, man, because uh, that was one thing, man, because, like, okay, they had plenty of the blue tarps down here. We were running them up there because, man, nobody had them up there, so we kept on dropping them off to all the supply stations. Yeah. You know, that's how I ended up doing, man, for a blue tarp and roofs for people up there, you know, because they didn't want to wait on the penal list, and, man, they pay me to do it, you know. Oh, that's good. Yeah.
Um, How much did they pay you? Depending on the roof, man, if I can. Um, but yeah, it depended on the roof. So I was getting paid pretty much by the job. But man, you know, but I'm telling you, man, that stuff is, it, it's kind of crazy work. You know, because, man, you got to climb up, man, for a game. You know, you're three, four stories up, man. You're walking on something that you know is broken. You know, and then some of, I mean, one of the worst ones I actually did was with Roy for a game. We did this one that was, man, there was only a quarter of the roof left. You know, three quarters of the roof was gone. You know, and I almost fell through that one, actually. For the car, actually saved my butt. Okay. But, yeah. But, yeah. Trying to get me to work for him. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, 
That's kind of why, man, I still do the day labor thing, man. It's because I got enough people lined up that, man, if I can, I can kind of go out to the highest bidder. You know, whoever's being the highest bidder at the point at that point in time, man, if I can just go work for them, you know. But, yeah. Because, you know, man, I haven't really found anything, man, I want to do, you know, I want to do full time, man, around here anyway. At least I liked it when I was doing boats. You know, fixing boats was okay. I was doing that for a while. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Like hull repair, motor yeah. repair? Yeah, everything except I don't do sales and I don't do motors. Yeah. You know, but I'll do wood, I'll do man for a game, you know, steel, I'll do fiberglass, you know, all that stuff. Okay. You know, but yeah, I mean, you know, nobody likes doing bottom jobs, but you know, for the right amount of money, I'll do a bottom job. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yep. So, but yeah. Yeah, I've been back over to the Raider for a while though. Yeah. So on Saturday, Rory went to work. What did you guys do on Saturday? No, oh, started drinking again, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's yeah. I mean, like I said, that was pretty much the entire weekend, man. Right. Right as, man, we were just man, pretty much drinking and you know, talking shit and drinking and talking shit. And, you know, trying to clean up the house, man, get it cleaned up, man. The other thing was, you know, trying to make sure the man for him got power and all that because, man, they're waiting on an injunction right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that's going to go now because, man, because I know Roy was the one who filed for the injunction. So, man, for him, I don't know how that's going to go. But actually, no, I think it's, I think April did it. I don't remember how it worked. Okay. But, man, they're trying to get an injunction for the power. Because man, you know they paid money to to the landlord, man, for them for utilities and for the rent, and man, for again, the guy just never paid, man. He didn't pay the owner for the building, and he didn't pay the, the electric company for the utilities. Yep. So they just shut it off. So, so they filed for the injunction, but man, for they said it was going to be about three to five days before they get it. You know, so I don't know. I don't know. I hope it works out for them, you know, because man, I mean, you know, well. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out, but man, for a can, but man, for a can, I was hoping it was going to work out for him just because man, for a can, yeah, I mean, they got robbed, you know, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen it happen before down here, man, I know I have, you know, but, you know, this guy, man, I mean, not only did he, you know, he conned the freaking owner, man, for a can, you know, robbed him, man, but he also robbed all the tenants living there. Now it creates a freaking problem for the owner because the owner's going to have to go, man, freaking evict him and all that other stuff. Yeah. I was telling him, I was like, man, you know, you guys should just call the owner. You know, call the owner, man, and try and work out a deal with him. You know, because, man, hell, it'll be better for everybody, man. That way, man, he doesn't have to go through the trouble of evicting nobody. And, man, freaking, you guys, man, freaking, don't just get thrown out on the street. You know right. what I'm saying? Because, uh, and because what the guy did wasn't fair to anybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you're, you're both, matter of fact, you know, because, uh, what is it, uh, there's a bunch of them that have lawsuits going against them now, matter of fact, and I know they got, they got a default judgment the other day. So, matter of fact, and, I don't know, matter of fact, and, so everybody's trying to sue the guy, matter of fact, and they'll probably never end up paying a dime, you know what I mean, but, but. But at least, man, they give them time to find a new place to, man, you know, live before they got to move. Yep. And, man, you know, make it a little easier, you know, make it easier on the owner, make it easier on them, you know. Because, man, the owner probably doesn't even know the situation. I don't know if he does or not. You know. But, but I know he, I know he didn't think that, man, that the guy was renting it out to other people. Right. Because it was right in his lease. I saw a copy of his lease, man, for I said he couldn't do that, man. You can't sublet it or anything like that. I got you. Yeah. But. Hey. Um, so let's go back to Friday. Night. We'll just stick on Friday night. All right. So, still daylight. Mm -hmm. Rory gets back. You guys have a couple beers. Mm -hmm. You You leave, stroll the neighborhood. It's dark at that point. I guess, because you know, like I said, man, I don't really remember, like I, I, like I said, I remember vaguely. I remember, man, I, freaking, I, I just remember the CVS, I remember that CVS drive through That's what I remember. Here's what, you know, here's what we got camera-wise. 8-11, mm -hmm. you're walking towards like the CVS Laurel Avenue, okay? Mm -hmm. About 8, was it 19? Thereabouts. 
very close to 1900, a little bit after that. Actually, a little bit after that. Yeah, it was like 820-something. Yeah, 820-something. You and Rory were pretty much hightailing it back toward your house from that same area. Okay. And so you weren't with Rory on the way up, however you were with Rory on the way back. Well, that's weird. Yeah, I know. And that's really weird because, man, I know damn sure I didn't go there by myself. Right. You know, I know that for a fact. You know, because, man, fuck, I have no reason to go over to CBS. You know, CBS. Um, but that is weird. Because, man, freaking, like I said. Then we have yeah, a witness at the treehouse mm -hmm. that has a white male mm -hmm. come out that front gate, turn towards the right, take his mask, mm -hmm. and go like that. And high town it down that road. Which way? Back towards, help me out the streets. Uh, Second Street. Where the, where... Okay, because I remember I was telling you, I read, man, freaking in the paper, I thought, man, it was yeah. two, I thought they had two black... Well, I'll be honest, the paper is pretty much way wrong. We okay. just haven't wanted to release, and the paper only gets 25% of what we release right. Okay. Uh, it was one black man, one white man. Okay. Um, I'll be honest, we talked to Rory for quite a while. Fine. All right. Uh, so, you came back and you passed out, is that about right? Pretty much. And mm -hmm. I remember I told you I went, for, I went I know I woke up and went man, for cigarettes and for a can. That was with Travis. Um, I don't remember the time. Did you guys take the truck or on foot? On foot. On foot. On Where foot. did you and Travis go between 4 and 5 was still daylight out in his truck? I didn't go in his truck for between 4 and 5. Matter of fact, man, he ain't supposed to be man. He ain't, supposed, ain't supposed to be driving. Right he ain't supposed to be driving at all, man, in that truck right now. But between four and five? I think it was between four and five minutes. Yeah. Times off. No, yeah. Yes. Yeah, because, uh, man, I ain't going on, man. I, 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 I've been very rarely have I ever even been in Travis's truck. Okay. Um, But, yeah, man, between four and five, I wouldn't have been in Travis's truck. There's no way. Because, man, freaking, there's just no way, man, freaking, no. I, I, that I would remember, you know. Um, you know what? You mind giving us a buccal swab? I almost forgot about that. A what? Buccal swab, just in your mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. Do we have what, for like yeah. Gannon, what for Danny? What for Yeah. Oh, you guys already got my stuff on fire. I know. But okay. this way, yeah. again, this makes me look like I do it. Okay, no, it's okay. No, but uh, no, I know for a fact, man, I didn't get in the vehicle that day. Okay. Somebody's um, mistaken then. Yeah. But man, for a game, no. Cause man, but man, freaking yeah. I know I went man got cigarettes with Travis. That we did go on foot. I know for a fact we went on foot. You're just not positive on the time on that. No, I'm not positive on the time. You know. Mm -hmm. And then I remember man, freaking like I said, man, freaking there was all the commotion and everything. I remember freaking you know, they were telling me man about what was going on, man, with the cops outside, and I was like, man, I looked out the windows, and man, freaking I was like, oh well, man. Whatever, man. Like, man, tell me about it in the morning, man. For and man, went back in. Then they, you know, I know, I know, Big Scott and man Travis said they sat out on the front porch, man. For and they were drinking beer on the front porch when the cops came up. Uh, they said that. And they said, man, they, they had two cops. They had they the cops came twice or something like that. Okay. Talked to them twice. So I don't know. Now, that I can't really, like I said, I can't really attest to that. I was upstairs. Gotcha. So I'm not freaking out. Give me just a second. I'm to get back in here. We can do this. Yeah. 
wanted to give me an edge. Say, it's only a problem if you lose. <laughs> Uh, is, that, is that like uh, rehab is for quitters? <laughs> so mad for you. We're still trying to wrap my head around the whole thing. Why? Why? You know, well, I mean, I'm not going to ask you for all your no. evidence or anything like that. I'm just. Well, I'm about to give you some of it, so. because well, my whole thing is, is man for a can. I just don't get it, man for a can. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've known Roy for a while. You know what I'm saying? For a can and. Oh. You know, Again, I'll wait till she gets back in here, but you gotta think about how long you've known him. Well, I mean, okay. I've known him. Well, put it this way. I mean, again, I wanna wait till she gets back in here. Okay. And honestly, it's gonna be key. You saw how long he was up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was a yeah. long time. We yeah. had a lot to talk about. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, and I would be lying mm -hmm. if I said you didn't come up. Oh, I'm sure. I'm and sure. Not in a good way. Oh, well, then, then, uh, but I will then wait till she gets back in and I'll fill you in, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Uh, I definitely don't like the sound of that. <laughs> well, you shouldn't. I'm not going to lie. You really, uh, really should not. Well, no, man. Freaking. Except I mean, I've known him for. I've known him since Van Cos, right? I mean, right. since him and, him and April first got here. You know, and man, for him, you know, I've always thought that he was a decent guy. You know, I mean, he can get a little loud sometimes, but man, for him, that man, for him, he's been a decent guy. You know, so, but man, if there's something bad to say about me, I'm definitely interested to hear what you Absolutely. guys say. Absolutely. I've never been anything but a good to him. Or, or to April, for that matter. Maybe April, April may hate me, but man, I've been pretty good to her, too. You know? Mm -hmm. um, like I said, not that I can really scam me on that too much, but yeah. But like when she needed prenatal vitamins, I would have got her prenatal vitamins and stuff. And, you know, so. Accused of murder, some African. That's uh, a pretty big deal. Not a little one. No. Like I said. Uh, let's see what you got to say, man. African, when she gets back in, but man, African, I, I can't wait to hear it. Cause man, that's. Now uh, you got me all nervous. I'm like, man, African. Man, shit. Man, that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. He's got a wife and a kid. He's got to do what he's got to do. Oh, no, I hear you. No, but man, that's what that's why I don't get it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, that's what I'm not getting in the first place. You know, if you got a wife and kid, man, he goes to work, man, for again. That's why I don't get it. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm not sure, man, for again. I'm not sure why, man, he would do it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and man, freaking, uh, I have a feeling I know what you're going to tell me, man. Freaking, I have a feeling, man, you're going to tell me, man, he's going to try and say it was me or some shit like that, man. Freaking, which, man, uh, that's really going to upset me. You know, because, man, freaking, not, like I said, I've been nothing but good to those people. Right. Man, freaking, and, man, I know for a damn fact I have nothing to do with this shit. You know. well, we have we have, we do have situations on top of that, okay. Yeah. Not able to explain. It. Okay. Uh, and so that that's we gotta get over that. You know, here's the, here's my take. Why? All right. Something went wrong at the treehouse. Why? Okay. Why? And you know, one person is saying one thing and I want to get your side. Okay. But the fact of the matter is something went wrong. Why? The way things were supposed to go to the treehouse, a rip. Why? Things went wrong. Well, see, uh, man, like I said, I don't, man, I really, man, I do not, man, freaking know what went down the treehouse. I have no idea what went down the treehouse. You know what I'm saying, freaking, other than what I was told and what I read. I already told you about that. You know, but, man, freaking, I have no idea, man, freaking what went down over there. You know, like I said, man, I, you know, I try and stay away from the damn place. I really don't like going over there. 
You know, like last time I was over there was that one time with Hollywood, man, for, like I said, I don't, I don't remember how long ago it was. And I know it's, I want to say it was pretty storm. I want to say it was pretty storm. You know, but man, that's the last time I've even been over that place. You know, right. it's a man for a game. Well, here's where again we're having problems because we've got a lot of things. Have you ever counted or looked when you're walking mm -hmm. in the neighborhood how many cameras there are? No, not really. Like even when you're talking about with CPS, yeah. there's a camera right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. That that and man. There's cameras. No, that there. I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. You know. And you know they're not they're not crap cameras. No. They're, they're your at night high definition bringing in color. Right. Right. Craziness. Right. Um, but like I said, man, I know, man, for can Well, uh, explain this to me, all right? Okay. You remember getting back to the house. You remember midnight right. at the house. Midnight at the house? Yeah. You were awake. Was I awake? Very midnight? close to midnight. Okay, how, how, how do you Because you like... were downstairs uh -huh. taking a black hoodie off of you, and you'd already put your pants in a small bag. My pants? Yeah, your pants. You weren't wearing any underwear. You were butt naked from the waist down. What? And you're dead serious, this isn't a lie. I'm butt naked? Except for a white shirt while you're taking your black hoodie off. It's not me. Or a black shirt. It's you. Because I don't, I don't own any white shirts. I, don't I think it was a white shirt. I may be wrong with the color of the shirt. I don't know. I don't you're know. taking a black shirt off. Maybe there was no shirt, but you're taking a black shirt off. Uh -huh. You're already taking your pants off. Well, man, I own one pair of pants. I mean, freaking, you know, they're still in my bag, perfectly brand clean, man, freaking brand, you know, almost brand new. Right. And then, man, freaking, I have a pair of, man, freaking, I have shorts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, I do have shorts. You always wear your black, almost everywhere you go. Oh, uh, my hoodie? Yeah. Only, man, freaking, when it's cold outside, and it's been cold lately. <laughs> it's been cold lately. You've been wearing it lately. Let's yeah, well, no, no, I had, you know, at night, especially, man, freaking, I wear it just because it gets, it gets and, cold. Uh, Halloween masses downstairs actually belongs to you or one of the masks. No. I don't own a single fucking mask. Not a single fucking mask. I don't know where you get that idea from, but man, I don't own a, I don't own a fucking single mask. And, yeah. um, on yesterday, I think it was yesterday, Monday, okay. you were with, you were with Roy.